Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another smooth episode of Music Sound Notes. We have yet another review coming out from Ashley B. No, I think it's Ashy B. Ashy B. <laughs> Cuban B. Um, Song is Like the Boys. Like the Boys. And off rip, I like the album artwork. Do y'all see it somewhere in here or over there? Well, let's just. Let's just get into it. Straight into it. All right, all right, all right. That was Like the Boys by Ashy B. Ashy B. And uh, how was you feeling about that? I feel about that. I feel about that. Um, I feel like the song message was there. I feel like the beat was nice. I think her voice sounded nice. Yeah. But I feel like the beat overpowered her voice a lot. Um, I feel like it was hard to... Uh, really make out what she was saying over that 808. That 808 was really hidden um, for for a, a part of the song. I did like the, the, uh, the I think that was the intention though. When she came in with a little high pitch. Mm -hmm. I, I was that, actually, I have a, a like a time stop on that so we can play it over. That was dope. That, uh, yeah, that, that was nice. But I, I do think the overall message of the song, you know, um, being in a relationship with a guy and, uh, and he treats you like a uh, like you're one of the boys. Like he doesn't exactly uh, give the the emotion or the, the exact effort as you would wish. I actually disagree. I think the message was that he's always with his boys, and she wants some quality time with him. See, right there. I gave my time up. So, so we can lay up, but you, but you always say that you're busy. I think he's always with his boys, and she's saying she wants more quality time with him. See, I got more of a vibe like, like, no, oh, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Woo! Yes, maybe finally you got right. one. <laughs> maybe you are right. Just kidding, it's all about opinion. Um, but no, that yeah. One, that one sounds pretty factual. <laughs> But um, to get Shit, back, I just put my own life out there. My bad. <laughs> 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 Got a couple people singing this song. Go ahead. So, anyways, um, to get back to what you kind of piggyback what you said. So, I did think the the production, the the instruments, or uh, just I guess this overall sound was nice. Uh, that 808 hit. Not real nice, actually, but I would have liked to hear more of Ash B. Like I feel like it was, even though I think it was done intentionally, I felt like the actual um, instruments overpowered her voice, and you had to really like zone, yeah, yeah, yeah. to like hear what she was saying. Um, she but has she, a soft voice. she has a soft, yes, yeah, you're right. She has a soft voice. Um, I actually think she kind of sounds like Kiki Wyatt. Like I was gonna say Sierra. Okay, so it's funny that you mentioned that. Um, I feel like she sounds like Kiki Wyatt with like when Kiki Wyatt's not belching. But at the same time, I think Ashley B has it in her to, to belt and like, you know, do that wide range of vocals. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that. I felt like this song gave me the vibe of when Sierra actually came out. Like that whole group that came out with Sierra, like Cherish, uh, Brooke Valentine. Um, yeah, like those. It's not listening to them like that. You you really brought out the error there. <laughs> I was ahead. just trying to give the people a, a vibe for her sound. Um, I, and so, you know, at that time, that was like, what, teenage days for me? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think, you know, I don't know how old Ashby is, but maybe she is, you know. Uh, heavy influence of Daddy Kane, Cherish, Sierra. Uh, yes. So I was gonna say she's maybe she's a teenager or early twenties. Um, even if not, I think her sound will a lot of young ladies in high school will probably really mess with this song. Um, uh, I also liked her voiceovers. Um, there's a couple of, of points in the songs that I really like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you all. Uh, the song is actually starting over right now, so hope I don't mess this up. Towards the end, she did do a couple voiceovers, but I feel like it didn't work in her benefit because I feel like if I 
the beat was overpowering her, so it sounded like a, like a mesh of sounds. Okay, this is true. Let me just play the part that I was feeling real quick. Like, I don't... I think it was a good song. I did like the, like the premise of the song. I think it was done well, but I feel like the fact that her the beat was overpowering her voice, where it was like... Like, the beat was brought before her voice. It was like... It was like the producer song featuring her. She be. I can see that. But, I, again, some people do that. True. Like, that's how some songs actually come out sounding. You just said that it sounded a lot like Sierra to you. Do you can you really hear Sierra in a lot of her songs? I don't really listen to Sierra. So okay. I well, I mean... I don't know if it was done intentional or not. I think it was done... <laughs> just playing with this joke. Wow. Um, I don't know if it was done intentional or not. I think it was done intentional. He is saying that he doesn't think it was intentional. But either way it goes, I think she has a soft voice. So what's about Janae Aiko? Janae, Janae Aiko okay, always whispering. Beats, oh, okay, but her beats don't hit as hard as that, though. Okay. When was the last time you heard Janae Aiko's song and that beat was like... like boom, 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 boom. Like, yeah. that beat was really hit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Did you listen to her mixtape? Janae? Sailing that... What is it? Selling, not selling. I don't know. What are we talking about? SCB. Okay. All right. But I'm, I'm just trying to give you an example of someone that has a soft voice. So yeah. you're saying that she should only go with soft, soft songs. I'm like not saying song soft songs. But just she make her a, voice stand out. Yeah, like where you can just turn the beat just down a little bit. Like you can have maybe our bass is up. Nah, dog. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'll put that shit in the car. It's gonna be beating out the speakers. Like that shit was really beating. Like. Okay, so there was. They gonna treat me like the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what she wanted to do. So, so you're to hear it, guys. <laughs> so there's this part where she like kind of hits this note, and I, I really like the way it sounds. So I'm gonna put it up for y'all. Like the last two parts that I really like that her little voice Dude, that she said. Yeah, yeah, that was so dope to me. Um, and then there was a beat switch up that I really want to bring out because I thought that was dope. Okay. Like it, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's the organ. I don't know if it's a real organ or if like it's some type of studio play. I don't know, it's just but I know it's the organ sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like I don't know how it works, but it, it's an organ. I know that much for sure. My grandmother had one. Our grandmother had one. So, um, so even though you you know you said the bass was hard, I think that last part. And it happened at 3.40. Um, I thought that was really dope, actually, with that little switch up you did. Um, shout out to your producer. I don't know who it is, but I actually I actually like it. Um, so, to get back to my notes. Um, did I say her, her single artwork was dope already? Yeah. Okay. Well then I guess we covered everything, like just out of out of order, but yeah, we covered everything. So yeah, she has like a soft, mellow voice. Um, we don't listen to any of the songs prior to like filming it. Like we, you get the real reaction. When I don't want uh, for it to be like as, as, as if I didn't like this song or if I'm being negative by all means. Because I do think it's a good song. I do like the message behind the song. I feel like it's a uh, real, really relatable song. As I was gonna say, a lot of women like, can relate to this song. I just feel like the beat just hit just a little bit too hard for how soft she said. I actually like the contrast, but I just wish they would have lowered the beat. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, oh, okay. Because okay. like when it first started, it was really hard for me to really like hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I, I just to pick back with him, I, I like the song. I just wish. 
uh, whoever the mixer was, if you would just brought the sound down a little bit more, let your voice really stick stand out. out. Yeah, stand out there. Um, I think that would have been really dope. But I really liked your voiceovers. I liked um, your little ad libs you did. Um, they're throughout the whole song, if anybody can hear them. Yeah. Um, I still think the production is nice. Like, I still think the beat and everything is nice. Um, um, this is definitely a song that's gonna make your truck, your your trunk rattle for definitely. sure. Definitely. Um, but yeah, and like, I would love to know who are your influencers, because I feel like that we named a couple that might be your influencers. Not trying to like put words in your mouth. Yeah, put, yeah, put words in your mouth. But I'm really interested to to hear more from you. Um, and I would say that the mic and everything, wherever you recorded this, the studio was good. Like the quality is there. The quality is definitely there. Um, good job, SUB. Like that's, yeah. Yeah, good job. Well, like always, thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of Music Sound Noise. Brought to, brought to you by Ashy B. Okay. Like Brought to you by Music Sound Noise reviewing Ashy, Ashy B. B. Like the boys. Like the boys. Go check her out. She ain't gonna be treated like no toy, y'all. Huh? <laughs> I like that. That's what she says. Uh, all right. Good night, everyone.